Some UGA alumni are saying they are thinking about withholding donations after a university employee made some racially charged comments. Channel 2's Tony Thomas is live in Athens. That's where the teacher's assistant is standing by his words. Tony, even as his bosses consider legal options. Yeah, Jovita, when this all started, the university administrator's first statements were basically that this was a teacher's assistant making personal comments not directly related to UGA. Now, though, as these comments have gone viral, well, reactions are changing. We have to wonder what else is in the water. Have you heard about this teacher's assistant? The, uh -huh. the online comments and videos of UGA teacher's assistant Irami Ose Frampong are spreading rapidly. There's got to be a reason why he's saying that. You know, he's not just being that crazy. Ose Frampong, who calls himself the funky academic online, recently commented on Facebook, some white people may have to die for black communities to be made whole. And fighting white people is a skill. I didn't advocate for violence. I was just honest about the history of racial progress. I asked Gose Frampong about his comments and university administrators who say they are, quote, vigorously exploring all legal options about his words. If they fire me, I, I, I don't think it goes very well for them. But the pressure appears to be mounting. This is a confrontation last September between Ose Frampang and then UGA student Andrew Lawrence. You said that every suburban community in Georgia raises white supremacists. How can you possibly say that? Lawrence now lives in D.C. and recently posted the video as he called for alumni to stop donating to the university until action is taken. I feel like the things that he's saying are inciting violence. They invite the idea into people's minds. Some white people may have to die. You stick with that. Yeah, I'm confused on why that's so controversial. Now, in its latest statement, UGA administrators wrote, we are seeking guidance from the Office of the Attorney General as to what actions we can legally consider in accordance with the First Amendment. Live in Athens, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News.